All right, so this person's asking about Mott C and its dosing schedule. And this is a very interesting one and a very confusing one for a lot of people because the dosing schedules are all over the place. They are really all over the place. I've never seen dosing schedule for another peptide more inconsistent just from expert to expert to expert. So let's talk about it. And again, this is not medical advice. Please always consult your doctor before you do anything. Uh, this is purely for educational and research purposes only. So first, what is MOTC? MOTC is what's known as a mitochondrial derived peptide. And this differs from a lot of the other peptides because most peptides are found in DNA while the MOTC peptide is found in the mitochondrial genome. And MOTC plays a critical role in metabolic homeostasis. It is often activated after physical exercise and it can activate itself up to almost 12 times the amount after physical exercise. And this is where they come into play saying exercise in a pill. They also sometimes call 5-amino-1-MQ exercise in a pill, SLUPP332 exercise in a pill. And MOTC is also sometimes referred to as exercise in a pill, even though it's not really found in a pill. But MOTC is mostly found in blood plasma and skeletal muscle, and it helps glucose uptake into the muscle tissue. MOTC has also been shown to be anti-inflammatory by reducing oxidative stress. And MOTC is primarily known to work through the AMPK pathway. So let's talk about a little bit about dosing. So you're asking is five milligrams a day, every five days for 20 days, a good schedule? And the short answer is yes, but so is one milligram daily or two milligrams daily or three five milligram shots a week or three 10 milligram shots a week. It really all depends on what you're looking for. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to tell you the best expert in the peptide fields dosing protocol for this. And this is Dr. William Seed's dosing protocol. So initially what you do is that you take five milligrams three times a week. He recommends Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you're going to do this for four to six weeks. And then for the next four weeks after that, you take five milligrams once a week for four weeks. And you cycle that again around, you start again about every two to three months. But really, I think what the, the best point about this is, is that MOTC can be used really whatever way you want, as long as you don't exceed 30 milligrams a week and don't exceed 10 milligrams per shot. Since one of the main functions of MOTC is glucose uptake, you don't want to find yourself in a hypoglycemic situation where you have low blood sugar. If anybody's ever been hypoglycemic, let me tell you something, it is not a fun thing. So personally, what I would do is that I would start low and then go from there. Personally, what I do when I take MOTC is that I take two milligrams daily in the morning and I do that five days a week and I do that for about four weeks. And that to me is a perfect dosage for me, especially when I'm pairing it with the GLP-1. Because if you're on a GLP-1, you're already not taking in a lot of calories. So you wanna make sure that when you're taking MOTC and you're um, up regulating uptake of glucose into the muscle, you know, you don't want to overdo it because that can make you go hypoglycemic. Anyways, I'm done rambling on. Thank you for listening. This was a great question and I appreciate you asking it. Thanks for watching, guys.